Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today, we're going to be drinking out of my wheat beer glass from Silversmith. Yeah, there's some water in there. There is. There is. And it's stuck to the sides, I know. You don't have to tell me. Anyway, today's beer. It's a beer I've been waiting to try for a long time. Uh, this came out as a uh, Project X beer a long time ago. And now it's a Tank 10 beer. This is... 6% alcohol by volume, 650 milliliter bottle, it is Great Lake Brewery's Karma Citra IPA. So there you go, Karma Citra IPA. What's it say back here? <sighs> News of any new hop coming from the Takima Valley pierce the ears of IPA brewers everywhere. But with Citra, Things were different. The buzz was bigger. A citra... A, a citra's wave rolled across the land. From the west coast we waited and waited. Finally it crested, and a sample crashed into our pilot system. After brewing with it, all the buzz made sense. Comments ranged from, well that changes the game, to... It's so good it feels like we're cheating. Today, we procure as much citra as we can to bring you as much of this IPA as our little brewery can master. All hail citra. Um, your brewery isn't all that little, guys. Let's be, let's be honest, you are one of the bigger breweries in Ontario. Uh, for crafts, that is. Not the biggest, not the biggest, but I'd say you're probably in the top. Fifth, uh, probably in the top 20 and with over a hundred breweries that's a pretty formidable number hell possibly even higher than that Look at that beer. That is a beautiful amber golden color. Beautiful, beautiful off-white head. It is a fancy looking choice here. Um, that is an amazing looking beer. It looks great in that glass. It's screaming as if it belongs in that glass. It's like, put me in a wizen glass. Fuck the butt plug glass. Give me a wizen glass. Smell. Okay. Anytime I have a citra beer, I am always, always worried because uh, the taste does fade. Um, take Torpedo, for instance, from Sierra Nevada. I have a review of Torpedo Up where I hated it. It was nothing but bitterness. And that's because they use a lot of citra and the citra faded in its time sitting on the shelf. This just smells beautiful. It doesn't smell like it's faded yet. Um, whether or not it has, we won't know until we drink it. But it smells beautiful. Blood orange, mango, beautiful citrus fruits just popping in your face. Oh, and a bit of little, uh, you know what, you can even kind of smell some resininess in there. I mean, Citra does have a, uh, a bitterness to it, but you're just smelling so much beautiful, beautiful, fruity flavors that I can't believe it's going to be too, too bad. Um, let's try it. I love that it's unfiltered, too. I love that haze. That haze makes the, oh, wait. Oh, God. It is, ooh, that is weird. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but the f beer is a lot clearer of a color down here, a lot lighter of a color than up here, and that is partially because it has grown as it goes up, but also there is a lot of particulates floating, but the particulates are floating up, 
they're not down here. It's actually kind of cool to partake in, to visualize. Let's try the beer. Cheers. Cheerio. Oh. Okay. That is... That is beautiful. That's the best way to put it. It's just beautiful. This is exactly what I want hop-wise. This is exactly what I want IPA-wise. So, so beautifully balanced, so beautifully, beautifully put together that I can't really complain. A nice, a very nice multi forefront, uh, almost biscuity even, um, going into the hops right away, going into a f blood orange, going into a mango, going into just a beautiful, beautiful citrus fruit, a beautiful tropical fruit. And that sweetness from, from the hops is, well, from the citrus fruity tasting hops, is mixing with the sweetness from the malt, and it's continuing over into the finish, where the finish comes up bitter, uh, a nice, beautiful emanation of a bitterness, just a refreshing bring up from the back of your throat into your mouth, nothing overpowering, very easy to drink, very fruity, very easy to share. That is spectacular. Excuse me. Spectacular is the best thing I could say about it. A beautiful, beautiful beer. Beautiful beer. Um, out of ten, easily a nine out of ten. Um, it's not an imperial IPA. It's just a regular IPA. I'm alone. I don't really think I want to dance alone. I don't even remember what the IPA dance is. Uh, do you guys remember what the reg regular IPA dance is? I know the Imperial IPA is the, uh, the golf clap, but, uh, what's the IPA dance? Um, yeah, easily, a 9 out of 10. Let's finish it. Cheers, guys. And look at it. I love when beer counts your sips for you. And yeah, it was a little cold. You can see a little bit of haze on the glass, but... It's been, it's in a big bottle, that's the problem. It's been out of the fridge for like an hour and a half. I can't wait much longer than an hour and a half, okay? I do need to drink my beer every once in a while. Cheers.